Welcome to Web Developers Bootcamp. Part 1, Lesson 1, HTML Basics. In this lesson, we will cover the block model, HTML structure, tags, attributes, and elements, block and inline elements, meta tags. We will create a project template and have a summary and tips with exercises. And of course, we have homework. Are you ready to learn? This lesson will introduce you to HTML's tags. Just remember this. Tags and their attributes are the building blocks to learn HTML. If you want to succeed, you better well know what you have and what they can and can't do. In this section, we'll be covering tags, elements, and attributes. Remember, tags are the building blocks. We need to know as much about them as we can possibly learn. Attributes provide the ability to style the tags to meet design needs. An element consists of everything in between and including the opening closing tags. The opening tag. The closing tag. Notice the closing tag has a slant sign beside, before the tag. The attribute is always inside the opening tag. And the element, the opening and closing tag plus the attribute plus the content equal the element. HTML elements may have attributes. Attributes provide additional information to help style the element. Attributes are always specified on the start tag. Attributes come in a name value pair format. Our next session will cover typographical tags. First one we'll cover is the header tag. Headers are from H1 to H6, with H1 being largest and H6 being the smallest. Usually we never go below three levels deep. The first tag is the P tag, better known as the paragraph tag. I believe that's pretty well explanatory. The next tag is the I tag, or the italic tag. The tag produces italic characters on, a select, on selected text. As with the I tag, the U tag, I guess you can know what that one is, underline, P produces underlined text in between the opening and closing tag, as seen in the example. The BR tag, better known as the break tag, and it produces a line break. The HR tag produces a horizontal rule across the page. Later on in the course, you'll find how to style the HR tag, or that horizontal rule. The M tag, or the EM tag, as you want to call it. This tag is used to emphasize text. The strong tag. This is the bold tag. This tag is used to bold text, as seen in the example. You may also use the B tag. Block and line elements. When displayed in a browser, block level elements normally start and end with a new line, such as the H1 tag, the P tag, and the UL tag. You'll learn about UL tags later on in the course. Inline elements are normally displayed without line breaks, such as the B tag for bold, A tag for link, and image tags. The div element is used as a container for major sections of an HTML page. It has no special meaning. 
However, styling and class is commonly used with it. Line breaks will be displayed before and after the element. This is a sample div tag for a footer. Notice it's being used with an ID. We'll learn more about IDs and classes later on. Span element. The span element can be used as a container, but for text it moves in text. It has no special meaning, but it's used commonly with styles and class. Span does not have breaks before or after the element, like the div tag. Grouping tags. Div and spans are also what they call grouping tags, because they group things together. The div as a, as a block level with an A document, and the span defines a section within a block of text, which is inline. Meta tags are very important to the website. There are common meta tags that you can use or should always use. One, for instance, the author who designed and who wrote the website. Two, the copyright information. Three, which should always be used, the character set, in this case UTF-8, which is normally what will be used. The meta metadata name viewport content, which is used with the mobile devices creating a project template. In this course we'll be creating a project template template that can be used throughout the project. When building a website it is always best to create templates for pages that are commonly used. This keeps everything looking consistent and it makes for faster development. I also re recommend placing them within the template folder. A sample template is shown on the next page. Stop the video and use your favorite editor to create the project template. Bring it up on your browser to ensure it displays as you intended. Don't worry if it's not pretty. We will be updating the template as we learn more about attributes and get into CSS. Remember, at this stage, we are only laying the page out. The summary. Let's talk about what we have learned so far. Attributes provide the ability to style the tag and help meet the page design. Always include the attribute in quotes. Meta tags contain data about the page which is used by the browser and search engines to provide information such as author, description, keywords, copyright, and more. HTML is built by the use of various elements with each having a specific purpose in laying out the document. To understand HTML, you must have a good knowledge of tags along with a working knowledge of a tag's available attributes. Here's a summary of the tags we have learned thus far. The doc type, HTML. Head, the body, the title, the style, and the meta. The heading tags, the P tag, the HR tag, the BR tag, the strong tag, the I tag, U tag, and the M tag. Here's some tips from Bops. Remember the box model when designing a web page. The tags are adding margin and padding that must be accounted for when designing the web page. For instance, you have a margin area, the border area, and the padding area, and of course, the content area. Breaks place a line feed between elements. It's like using a carriage return on a typewriter. The HR horizontal rule draws a horizontal line across the page and helps separate various areas of the page. It is suggested to always use lowercase for HTML attribute names. When using HR in conjunction with a menu, you can use it with the BR tag as shown. 
This puts a line above and below the menu area. You will learn later to use CSS to tell how the rule will look, such as the example below. You must take all this into consideration when designing your web page. Always carefully choose the metadata placed within the pages of your website. Here are some good examples of a meta tag. Placing the keyword so that the browsers and the search engines can find it. Refresh the document every 40 seconds. Automatically refresh the document. They always have up-to-date information. And of course the page description which we have discussed before. You may wish to stop the video, take a few minutes, and review your notes before taking your test. Exercise 1-1. One, one. Locate the HTML cheat sheet on w3schools.com and print them out. These sheets can assist you learn the tags and how to extend their use with the attributes to meet the design needs. Study them while waiting for the next lesson. Stop. Halt. Create a template to be used with the tutorial. If done correctly, it can be used for other projects outside of this tutorial. When completed, restart the tutorial. Your new assignment is to develop a website for the XYZ Gidunk company to show off their new products. If you don't know what Gidunk is, in the military, it's candy or sweets, junk, snacks, so forth. The mock-up will consist of the following pages. Home, About, Gallery, and Contact. All you have to do is create the home page, not all four pages. Since the links and images are not, have not been discussed as of yet, Plan for their location with dummy links. Without looking at the answers, provide the definition of each tag shown in the following two tables. Congratulations, you have completed part one, lesson one. I hope you have enjoyed this part of the tutorial. Please provide us with any feedback, questions, or suggestions you may have. You will respond as soon as possible. For support, go to pops2cents at gmail.com. The next thing we will be studying is creating lists. Homework. Check out the source code of several websites and explore how they use the various tags to lay out the home page. Using your template, create a simple web page markup. From the HTML cheat sheet, study the various tags and how they could be used with your project. If you enjoyed this lesson, please select and click like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.